Andrea O'Day Lee, and I'm from Arvada, Colorado. I got diagnosed with my first cancer at 21, so just kind of changed things for me. You know, all my friends were in college and kind of, you know, having these different life experiences, and um, I was just so sick. So it was finally once they figured out what it was and got the ball rolling. I start. I think I found out on a Thursday and started my chemo on a Monday. Did pretty well after that for actually quite some time. I went back to work and I was a nanny. Um, and I did that for a couple different families and I love that, love kids. And it was right at about five years I got the breast cancer diagnosis. I went into the hospital to start treatment and they found that I had the the MDS, which is a precursor to the leukemia. So they said, you, you know, you need to have a bone marrow transplant to stop the disease from progressing. They tested my, my siblings um, to see if they were a match and none of them were. So they went to the National um, Bone Marrow Registry website and they found a match in Germany. It, after the tr uh, transplant, you are able to re release your information. And so I did that. And if it's an international donor, you have to wait two years to release your information. I think at that time I, I called and that was, I do not speak any German and the person on the other end did not speak English. So that was, I just said, Andy, America, I knew his name was Andy. And that too, just, I think God was in that because how he got that information, I was able to get an email address out of it, and he sent an email to me after the phone call, and then we just started corresponding. And he came um, for the first time to America in 2011. Uh, my name is Andreas Albrecht. Um, I'm from Germany. It was easy to do. <laughs> my English was not very good, worse than now, and I had a buddy with me who can't speak English at all. So it was kind of funny to find our baggage and all that at the airport. And then, um, yeah, we stepped up the stairs and I can remember Casey there um, and Andrea. And yeah, that was, uh, that was uh, amazing, yeah. My faith is huge. Um, just every time that I've gone through cancer, I just, it's given me the time to press into God and gather my strength from Him because, you know, one, two, Three times you, I mean even once, to have cancer and have to go through the treatment is a lot for a person, but I have amazing family and friends, huge support system, um, and the biggest part is just my faith. That no matter what, God's got me and I'm gonna be okay. I would just say don't ever give up hope. I mean in this 18 year journey for myself, I, I mean the treatment has gotten uh, just almost like less aggressive and you know you look at me I don't look like I'm sick or going through cancer um, you know I'm having a new drug that you don't lose your hair and that for me um, I mean that was crazy when they said oh yeah that probably is not gonna happen you're not gonna lose your hair this time it was just kind of a thing that you would expect to happen um, so I just I just think you just gotta have hope that, you know, as time goes on and the treatments just get better and better, that you just, you can't give up, you can't give up. Why is donating important? I think, um, why not? So, it was not a big deal, it's, uh, it's easy to do, and um, yeah, you can help someone. Just an amazing, amazing person, and I thank him you know, for saving my life, and it wasn't a huge deal to him, and it, you know, he's donated since because my disease has come back, and he just never hesitates. You know, we called him this last time, and they said, well, come on an airplane, what do you need us to do, and he is my brother from another mother. So, and that too, just a gift from God.